Now at five, another Target 12 investigators exclusive. Is it worth it? A local nonprofit that receives hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxpayer funded government grants loses a property at a tax sale. And that led to the discovery that a half million dollars is expected to be spent on a Providence home that we're told will be sold for about a third of that. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has the details you'll see only on Eyewitness News. The city of Providence committed $163,000 in taxpayer-funded grant money to renovate a home on Hanover Street. But despite that investment, the city allowed an investor to buy control of it at a tax sale for just $2,500. This is 42 Hanover Street on the west end of Providence. Tax records indicate it's assessed at $95,000. But according to this lien from a contractor who worked on the home, $300,000 in work was planned on the property. In a column for total completed to date, the amount is just under $238,000. There's no finished electrical, there's no floor. Tom Conley was hit with the contractor's lien after he took control of the property by paying about $2,500 at a city tax sale. The kitchens aren't here. Conley tells us he's renovated dozens of properties. He was surprised the city would allow this property to be sold at tax sale after tens of thousands of dollars in taxpayer-funded grant money was spent on it. A shocking amount of money. In, in, in my years, I've been doing this about 15 years, I've never seen anything like this. This, this scale of, of squandering, of waste. City records show the West Elmwood Housing Development Corporation bought 42 Hanover for just over $89,000 in 2014. According to its website, the nonprofit offers a variety of programs and services related to real estate development. Target 12 reviewed the nonprofit's 2014 IRS 990 filing, which indicated just over $810,000 in government grants went to the Dexter Street nonprofit the year it bought 42 Hanover. The $2,500 lien that Conley paid was part of the Clean and Lean program, which allows the city to clean a property and then charge the owner. In this case, the document indicates more than three tons of debris was removed from 42 Hanover. A city spokesperson tells Target 12 the tax collector's office made the proper decision to allow 42 Hanover to be sold at tax sale for about $2,500, even though the city had invested tens of thousands of dollars in the property. The floors aren't done. Conley would later agree to release the property back to West Elmwood once the money he spent on the lien was paid back with interest. You know, I'm not in the practice of taking properties from people who pay their taxes. So it's not a problem for me. What's a problem is what I discovered going through this process. In a statement from West Elmwood, we were told their goal is to not only renovate individual properties, but improve entire neighborhoods. And tonight at six, they'll tell us why it costs so much. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. We have new details in a Target 12 investigation. Is it worth it? We're looking into how much of your money was spent on a nonprofit's renovation of a Providence home. Target 12 found nearly a half million dollars will be spent on refurbishing a property that is said to be worth about a third of that, and more than half of the money is coming from taxpayer funded grants. And you at six, a nonprofit behind the project defends the cost, telling us the goal is to help the entire community that surrounds the house. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau with the details you'll see only on Eyewitness News. The City of Providence gave a $165,000 taxpayer-funded grant to renovate 42 Hanover Street, but then allowed it to be sold at a tax sale for $2,500. And that is just the beginning of the story. Real estate investor Tom Conley bought control of 42 Hanover for just over $2,500 at tax sale and owned it outright for a few months. But then what Conley calls a clerical error prompted him to allow the former owner, nonprofit West Elmwood Housing Development, to reclaim the property by paying the lien plus interest. While Conley was the owner, a contractor filed a different lien on the property that shows just under $300,000 was planned to be spent on the property with about $237,000 spent to date. With the amount that they contracted and purchased it for, they could have knocked this down and built two family, two, two family houses. Another lien on the property showed the city of Providence had given West Elmwood a $165,000 taxpayer-funded grant. When we asked the city if it was a mistake to allow 42 Hanover to be sold at tax sale for just over $2,500, despite that huge investment in taxpayer money, spokesman Victor Morenti told us this. The tax collector's office made the proper decision under state law. West Elmwood was also notified of the tax sale. 
In a statement from West Elmwood, the nonprofit tells us there are several unforeseen factors that can drive up the cost of homes they renovate. And we're told the grants used by the nonprofit have stiffer, often more expensive requirements than private investors face. The property has to be handicapped accessible. Lead and asbestos abatement is required. Architectural plans are another requirement that she says private investors do not have to do. The board member also emphasizes that while private investors are renovating homes and may pass on blighted neighborhoods, the nonprofit's goal is to not only restore the home, but also help the entire neighborhood. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.